Hi, this is Amy with Homeschool Tracker, and welcome to our Getting Started Guide. In this video, we'll show you how to use the scheduler tool to assign lesson plan items to the agenda, and we'll also go over how to create schedule presets. After you create your lesson plan, you will use the scheduler to create the actual assignments for your students in the agenda. From the lesson plan page in the purple column on the left, select the lesson plan you wish to schedule. Then click Action Scheduler. Select the student or students you wish to schedule and then continue to day and date. Choose the frequency you want the assignments to appear on your agenda. You can choose specific days and times or you can use a preset which we will go over later. I have decided that it is a bit too much to have geometry every day so I'm going to click weekly and select Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I can choose a start and end time or leave it blank and it will schedule it as an all day assignment. Start date is required and I'm just going to schedule the next two weeks so I don't get too far ahead of myself. Continue to preview and it will show me all the assignments that will be added to the agenda. I double check to make sure everything looks correct. If not, I can always click the students and details or day and date headers at the top and go back until everything looks correct. This all looks correct, so I will select all and then accept the selected items. It will now take me back to the original lesson plan screen. To view the assignments that I have created, I can look in the agenda list or calendar view. You can also schedule lesson plan items under the lesson plans and presets page in the student section. Select the student you want to schedule. The first time you access this page, you will have to click edit to add lesson plans relevant to that student. You can then hit the scheduler button to select the lesson plan or plans you wish to schedule and add the assignments needed to your agenda just like before. Once you have assigned lesson plans to a student, they will show up as an active lesson plan in this page and will show you how many total items there are and how many unused items you have remaining, as well as the last date you have assigned an item. That does it for this Getting Started video. In our next video, we'll show how to create presets to make your scheduling even easier. Thanks for watching.